And now to a different health concern. The FDA warned anyone taking hydroxycut to stop. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 deadly products that weren't banned. I'm surprised more kids didn't die because they were dangerous as all hell. For this list, we'll be looking at dangerous products that should have been pulled from shelves right from the get-go. We'll be including some products that were banned in some places but not everywhere, and others that just should have been banned way sooner. Which deadly product surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Austin Magic Pistol Kids have been drawn to toy guns for a long time. I want an official Red Rider Carbon Action 2 inch air range ball air rifle. Ooh, no. Shoot your eye out. Oh no, it was the classic mother BB gun block. This fascination with make believe weaponry included the Austin Magic Pistol, which in 1940 was considered to be the hot new toy. Unfortunately, unlike the Nerf guns and super soakers of today, the Austin Magic Pistol was incredibly dangerous. In fact, it was banned by a new law in Virginia in 1950 and would now be classed as a firearm in many parts of the world. What could make a play gun so dangerous? Acetylene gas, which would cause a fiery explosion within the pistol to launch its ammo. Oh, that was a good one. This could cause severe burns or project bits of plastic toward the user's face. Number 9. IKEA's Malm Dressers. I was sitting there and it came this close to my head. It's all right. You're okay. You didn't get hurt. Well, I'm not going to wait around here until I do. Okay. When thinking about dangerous products, dressers probably aren't the first thing to come to mind. Nevertheless, the IKEA Malm dressers had some difficulties anchoring to walls and thus could tip over and become a serious hazard. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says there have been 186 reports of incidents with the dressers. This was especially true for the children's dressers, which would topple when a kid stood on the bottom shelf to reach something on the top. After six deaths were linked to the product, IKEA made the decision to recall it. Furniture giant IKEA recalling 29 million dressers because of a risk of tipping over with deadly consequences. At least that's what they did in the US and Canada. In spite of the known risks, the dressers continued to be sold in Europe and for a short while, China with Chinese IKEAs only recalling the product after pressure from customers to do so. Number 8. Stevens Model Dockyard Locomotive With the popularity of trains on the rise, toy companies in the 1800s were eager to make a miniature version that moved like the real thing. The Stevens Company made it work, but with one major caveat. It moved a little too much like the real thing. Unlike toy trains of today, which primarily move with electricity, the Stevens model dockyard locomotive had an engine which required kids to light kerosene or alcohol to use. Even worse, these miniature trains were infamous for leaving a small trail of watered down kerosene or alcohol behind them. Somehow, none of these safety concerns seemed to matter to consumers at the time, and these dangerous model trains became a smash hit. Number 7. General Motors In February of 2014, General Motors recalled 800,000 of its cars due to faulty ignition switches known to shut off the car's engines while the vehicles were in motion. The average car has about 30,000 parts, and sometimes a problem with just one of them can turn into a disaster. In the case of a Chevy Cobalt, it's a 90 cent ignition switch. As the year went on, so did the company's recalls. And by the end of June, close to 29 million North American cars had been deemed unsafe. It may seem from these numbers that they did the right thing, but in actuality, General Motors had known about their faulty ignition system for almost a decade. For all of GM's corporate culture, the admission under oath that General Motors intentionally ignored a fatal safety defect for years, simply because it would cost less. Government regulators remained in the dark, which is why the product was never actually banned. 
General Motors' negligence would ultimately cost the company more money and would cost over 100 customers their lives. Number 6. Gilbert Chemistry Set Getting kids interested in science is a good thing. Yes, science! But risking their safety in the process? Not so much. Introduced in the 1920s, the Gilbert Chemistry Set was a hit with both parents and children alike. All new, completely different Gilbert Chemistry Sets with a volcano that erupts. A fire extinguisher you make yourself. However, it contained dangerous materials, including ammonium nitrate, which can be used to make homemade explosives, and potassium permanganate, which is used as a fire starter. You have this tannic acid right here and this sodium ferrocyanide. If you mix those together, you should get cyanide gas and it would kill you. Oh my. <laughs> The kit came with instructions on how kids could create explosives. The only warning? Make sure not to make those explosives too big. Infamously, the company's Atomic Energy Kit included radioactive materials. Their sets only fell out of favor in the 1960s with new safety regulations. Number 5. Cutter Biological Blood Clot Medication The big question surrounding this scandal, had there been contamination warnings? If so, when exactly did they emerge? The HIV AIDS epidemic of the 1980s disproportionately affected the LGBTQ community, both in terms of nationwide marginalization and the virus's death toll. Hemophiliacs aren't discussed as often, but they also contracted HIV in large numbers, not from other human beings, but from medication. You kept on giving your kids this medicine that was supposed to help them and you injected them with AIDS. In 1983, it was determined that the Cutter Biological blood clot medicine was causing HIV AIDS in an alarming number of users, causing it to quickly be removed from shelves in Europe and the United States. In spite of the danger, however, Cutter Biological continued to sell and produce the old product in Asia and Latin America before switching to the newer, safer stock. It was a big business. I think that was a big factor why it wasn't ever recalled. Number four, McDonald's glassware. Who could resist a mug like this? Four colorful glass Garfield mugs you can buy. Believe me, I'm worth it. For a special price with any McDonald's food purchase. If you live in the U.S., you've likely seen McDonald's glassware, whether that be in your grandma's cabinets, on a teacher's desk, or at the local thrift store. The fast food giant sold these pop culture glass sets for decades, not stopping until a 2010 controversy surrounding the amount of cadmium in Shrek Forever After glasses that led to the recall of 12 million products. Federal regulators are recalling these glasses because they say that the paint used to decorate them contains cadmium. This recall never extended to past glassware, but a viral 2019 blog post by Lead Safe Mama led to renewed interest in the safety of these popular products. The Post claimed a 1978 Garfield glass also contained cadmium, as well as 99,300 parts per million lead, a far cry from the current legal limit for lead in children's products, which is 90 parts per million. Number 3. HydroxyCut For many, New Year's resolutions often include some form of getting in shape, whether that be through dieting or regular exercise. When time is inevitably not on their side, however, some give up conventional methods of weight loss for dietary supplements like HydroxyCut. HydroxyCut, America's number one weight loss brand, helps you lose weight your way. Unfortunately, the promise to lose weight fast comes at a cost. Users of HydroxyCut reported issues ranging from jaundice to heart problems and liver failure. The manufacturer is recalling 14 HydroxyCut products after the diet supplement was linked to severe liver problems and at least one death. Some 9 million packages were sold last year alone. In at least one case, a consumer even died from side effects caused by the supplement. These serious allegations led to a recall and a change of formula but many suggest the new formula isn't much safer than the last. I lost 47 pounds. I feel beautiful. HydroxyCut really works. Number two, Monster Energy Drinks. Unleash the beast, but do so responsibly. Monster Energy has provided a popular drink option for teens and young adults alike. 
but the brand has been criticized over the years for the amount of caffeine present in its product. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever tried to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster Energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. Although the drinks have been on the market since 2002, they weren't officially considered beverages by the FDA until 2013. During this time period, the company was blamed for the deaths of five separate people who claimed that the heightened amounts of caffeine present in the product caused fatal heart issues. The FDA says it has received reports of five deaths and one heart attack possibly linked to the energy drink, and it is investigating diligently, but is not confirmed they were caused by Monster. While the caffeine content has been capped in Canada, in the U.S., it's remained the same. The only difference being that the amount is noted on the can's label. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Tesla Autopilot System Eccentric billionaire Elon Musk seems like a perpetual magnet for controversy and his primary pet project, Tesla, is no exception. A man and woman both apparently asleep in the front seat as their Tesla seems to keep driving, presumably in autopilot mode. The luxury electric car brand launched autopilot software in vehicles as early as 2015 and pushed out a beta for full self-driving software in late 2020. Both of these announcements were met with heavy skepticism regarding safety from customers and auto analysts alike. And as time goes on, it has become apparent that these critics were right to be skeptical. In less than a year, the NHTSA reported 273 crashes of Tesla vehicles using autopilot. Tonight, Tesla confirming this car was in autopilot mode when it crashed in Northern California, killing the driver. For at least two drivers, those crashes were fatal. Musk seems unconcerned with these alarming numbers, blaming the crashes on quote-unquote overconfidence of inexperienced users. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.